Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for March the 25th of 2020, well, it is titled Star Forming Region S106. So what do we see here? Well, this is a very massive star towards the center, which has uh, just been born, and that's by astronomical standards, which means it's only about 100,000 years old. Extremely, extremely young for a star. And we see what it is doing to the material around it and how it energizes the material around it. And you get almost a, a butterfly wing shape coming out from it as the star at the center there and some dark dust clouds for material left over and the wings of material and we see a couple different colors here the blues are what we call a reflection nebula so reflection nebula would be a blue color and is caused by uh, the light from the star reflecting off of dust grains around it. So dust grains out in space around it will reflect that light and will preferentially reflect the shorter wavelengths or the blue colors. So the blue light is more likely to be reflected, giving the reflection nebula a blue color. Gas around the star instead does not reflect light but absorbs light and absorbs primarily infrared radiation which causes the atoms and especially hydrogen atoms to be ionized. That means that the electron has been ripped off of the atom and as it recombines it will go through various different energy levels and each of those will give off a specific particle of light. And one of those is very specific in the red portion of the spectrum. So it'll give off a very red glow associated with hydrogen gas. Now, as we look at it even closer and when we look in more detail at this, what we actually find is that there are many, many low mass stars here. So what we find is when stars form, the massive stars, the very bright ones and prominent ones that are the ones we often look at are very rare. And for each of those, there can be hundreds of very small objects that form as well. Many of these are what we call brown dwarf stars, and they are called, they are brown dwarfs, and that means that they are uh, very cool, so they don't look very bright, uh, giving off a ruddyish brown color when we see them, and in fact, primarily emitting light in the infrared. These are sometimes what are called failed stars, and that means that they are just not massive enough to be able to fuse hydrogen into helium at their center. And that is what we make the definition of a star. So what is a star? Well, in reality, an actual star is something that is fusing elements and producing its own energy. So a typical star like our sun is fusing hydrogen into helium in its core, and that requires a temperature of about 10 million degrees. Stars like a brown dwarf do not reach that 10 million degree limit and therefore are not able to fuse hydrogen into helium and never become a full-fledged star. So here we get to see that colorful star-forming region with the blues and the reds and additionally, all of the other stars that are forming as well, not just the one prominent massive star that we get that we see at the center. So that was our picture of the day for March the 25th 5th of 2020. It was titled Star Forming Region S106. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Andromeda Station. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then... Have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.